What's up everyone, it's Akuna Matata here, and today we're going to be analyzing the placements for a Catan Championship League Season 4 game. And as a reminder, this league is free to join, free to play, and a link to the Discord will be in the description below. So let's just jump into it. Green places first, and they pick the 9-6-10. Now for us to determine how strong of a pick this is, let's refer to our prep OTC, or over-the-counter prep. And this stands for P Production. R resources, E expansions, P ports, O outs, T trading partners, and C competition. I really like the 9610. It's 12 points of production, three unique resources, and its specialized ports are resources that you produce within that spot. Now if you look at outs, we need a lot of wood and ore to get all five resources, and a lot of the ore and the wood is paired together on this board, so I think they're in good shape. Lastly, I really want to focus on trading partners here as well. So we're on a six brick and there's also a six wood out there. That means every time a six rolls, road material is out on the board and we can make some trades if we have excess brick or whatever to get the wood that we need to go with it. So in all, I think the 9610 is the best spot for first position to take. The biggest reason is that wheat, in my opinion, is the most important resource in this game. If you look at the board, the only other place you can get strong wheat is in a desert or coastal position. Oftentimes, the sacrifice of production really harms you in the rest of the game. And so having specialized ports and strong wheat here at the beginning is really important. Now, orange in second position goes with the 853, and I also really like this pick. Primarily, if you look at O for outs, we see that the 84 or the 810 with the desert or on the coast down below will more than likely be open when we get back to the seventh pick for orange. Knowing these as our outs, we know we'll have possibly all five resources, coordinated ore and wheat with the eights, and even a specialized port with the wheat port down below. I also like the 853 because we pointed right towards the 3 for 1 port, and I don't think anyone would really contest us for that. The person who goes to 643 will more than likely want to go for the 3 for 1 port on the 6 wood. And I think it's really important that we pointed toward this 3 for 1 because if we go on the 8 4 down below, there's no 3 for 1 port there instead. I mean, just as before, we know we need wheat and sheep, and a lot of that is paired together on this board. So I really like the 853 as second position. So now let's look at third position, which I think is an extremely difficult decision to make. I think normally the 9105 down below is a really strong position. There's a high producing spot and a specialized wood port right there. However, I think there's a really big fear that someone will take the 810 wheat and wood and block out that port altogether, which would severely damage your game. So comment below, where would you have settled in third position? I think there's some merit to take the 6311 here. You get the rare brick, some wheat, and some sheep. And then as we looked at before, there's a lot of wood and ore paired together for the rest of this board. However, it's not really close to a accessible port. And it's really difficult to determine what expansion spots will still be left over after everyone else places their settlements. So black picks a 6-4-2, and I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of this position. If we look at our outs, there aren't very many strong ones. Let's say fourth position takes the 9-10-5 and the 6-3-11. I'd say the only strong out for black is the 8-4, which is only 8 points of production. So first pick, 9 points of production. Second pick, 8 points of production. That's not that strong. We'd have to play an order wheat cheap game, get the 3 for one port, get the wheat port, and just bank on a lot of fours. It's okay, but it's not the strongest. However, third position is really stuck here. I think ultimately I might have just taken the 9, 10, 5, point down, and bite the bullet if someone blocks out that wood port. But what are y'all's thoughts? Please make sure to comment below on where you would have gone as third position. So now let's get to the meat of the placements with fourth position. Jad in red here has a really interesting decision to make here. And Jad is an extremely strong player, and in fact, the Season 2 champion for the Catan Championship League. Now, Jad picks the 9-10-5 and then the 6-5-11. I think this is by far the strongest pick he could have made in this position. The reason why I like the 6-5-11 rather than the 6-3-11 is instead you have, of course, more production. But also that 3-11 is going to be uncontested. It should be yours, and that can be a strong settlement to get wheat in the future. And this sacrifice allows you to have more wood for your wood port. 
in a way, by taking the 6511 rather than the 6311, also opens up the board for more 3 hex settlement spots for other players to take. Having an open board it can also be very valuable for Jad since he has so much road ability with all the wood and brick. Also, this allows the 6 brick to probably be triple shared by black if he settles on the 6312, which means it's very unlikely to get blocked. Also, let's say Jad blocks out the board by taking the 6311. It's just more and more likely that the 810 will get picked and block out his wood port. And so by opening the board, he gives more options for other players, and he's less likely to get blocked himself. So let's say Red went 6311. For that pick, he doesn't have a road settle anywhere else, in my opinion, because more than likely that 4911 gets picked by green, and you don't have a road settle, your expansion spots are a little bit more difficult to come by now. Especially since red has so much brick and wood, they need to connect by road, and having a settlement spot within that continuous road is really strong and more efficient use of resources. Now red just has to hope that the 810 wheat and wood does not get picked to block him from the port. However, if that happens, Jad has put him in a position to have so much wood and brick that getting to the 5-2 is also possible, and therefore his game would not be dead if that happens. We can now see Jad's full position, 22 points of production, a specialized port, and a wood condition of longest road on his mind. I think he's in a very strong position. So now we're at 6 pick, back to black, and where should he go? I think looking at what helps his position the most, it's either going to be the 8-4 or the 6-3-12. And really if you look at this board, I think the 8-4 is better than the 3-4-11, and so 6-3-12 Pointing with the road pointing left also kind of comes with a 3 4 11 possibly. So I think as black, I would go 6 3 12 point left and hope that you can get the fourth 11 3. This expansion spot is really valuable and would give you a strong chance at having a lot of production this game. However, black instead goes the 4 3 11 and points up, hoping to get onto the 6 3 12. I think the fear here is that if black takes a 6-3-12 and points left, orange could take the 4-3-11, point right, and get the 8-4 as an expansion spot because green probably doesn't go there. I think that's a really good point, and if black and orange are talking and nothing's being able to be worked out, I totally get taking the 4-3-11 first and trying to get to the 6-3-12. However, that's a lot slower. Unfortunately, I wasn't in the voice chat, so I don't know what deals are trying to be made, or what the table talk was, but if I'm black in this position, I try to make sure I can get the 4311 starting with the 6312, but also that orange can start with the 810 rather than the 84. So we see orange immediately goes 84 as a subtle spot, but I think it's really actually important that orange starts at the 810 and blocks out Jad's port. So as black, I start with the 6312, I have an extra brick. And I say, hey, Orange, you start with the 810. I'll trade you my extra brick for whatever card you want me to to help you get to the 8-4. This would not only block out Jad's port, but it also takes Orange from immediately going to the wheat port, instead using resources to get to the 8-4 and then to the wheat port. It really slows down their game, and so you have to give some sort of incentive to them. Not only are they blocking out what I believe to be the strongest setup in Jad's wood port, but I'm giving them cards. I'm helping them get to the spot that they want to really place in. If some deal like this is able to be made, Black puts himself in a stronger position with a strong expansion while also slowing down two of the other players. After all is said and done, the 9411 I think is an obvious pick for Green as their second pick. It's just whether or not they point left or right. I don't think it'll make much of a difference. I think maybe if you point left, Jad might be more inclined to go to the 11-3 as his first settlement, rather than possibly going to the wood port first, um, even though he might do that already. But pointing right, getting possibly a road building, a couple lucky nines and sixes, only two roads away from a 5-3 for one, is really important. So I think pointing right is also a strong move. For those curious, this is how the game ended up playing out. Jad ended up winning this game. Had so much production, no competition for longest road, and was able to city up three times. 
Orange, however, was also close to a victory after securing army, had a strong setup, and coordinated resources really are key. It took Black quite a while to get to the 6-3-12, and because of that, didn't get to benefit much from the coordinated sixes. But what do y'all think? Are y'all surprised to see this outcome? I think Green and Black really needed to work together here to throw incentives at Orange to take the 8-10 and slow down what ended up being the two front runners in this game. By slowing down Orange's pursuit of the wheat port, by making Jad not have a wood port and have to go to the 5-2-3 for one, I think that would have balanced the game, allowed Black to start with coordinated roads, and therefore give more competition to road as well, and made this game more even at the end of things. But what are your thoughts? I'm excited to see what you say in the comments below. Alright guys, that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment below your thoughts. You know, if this is something you enjoyed, I'd really like to spotlight a Catan Championship League game maybe every week, just a random game, and give some content out to you guys. So if you'd be interested in that, please let me know. Thanks.